Hi everyone, happy summer wishes from all of us at the Council of Michigan Foundations. It's exciting this week to note that we've got some great examples of bipartisan cooperation in our state legislature in our, in our, and, and in Congress, and I wanted to share some good news with you. Um, the state Senate this week passed the package of bills and they're off to the governor for signing on the grand bargain. And philanthropies played a very important role and we really thank the foundations that stepped up to be partners with government in really helping Detroit to emerge from bankruptcy much sooner and also help out Detroit pensioners and the Detroit Institute of Arts. It's a great example of how philanthropy can be an important partner. We don't replace government, but we can be an important partner for government. The other example I want to share with you is in Washington. I'm often asked by Michiganders, what's the status of the IRA charitable rollover, Rob? Are they going to renew it in Congress? Because we would really like to continue to use it as a giving tool. And the good news is that with the support of our Michigan leadership, Congressman Camp and Congressman Levin, legislation has been introduced to renew the IRA charitable rollover for 2014 and for next year, 2015 as well, which would be wonderful because we do have Michiganders who use it as a giving tool and it's helping to strengthen our nonprofit sector. So those are just two examples of bipartisan cooperation I wanted to highlight um, this month in my message to you. But I also want to share with you that at the Mackinac Policy Conference last week, there was some important news that was given to everyone there and was put out over the news wave, and that is the most recent economic benefits analysis study of the importance of the nonprofit sector in our Michigan. And I encourage you to check out this data. It's accessible from our website, and you can look at every county in Michigan and you can see how many nonprofits are involved, how many people are working for those nonprofits, what the annual payroll is. And this study once again confirms that one of every 10 Michiganders works for a nonprofit in our state. So we're an important part of Michigan's economic engine. The other document that I want to make sure you know about is also available from our website, and that is Michigan Speaks. And this is a brand new document from the Center for Michigan, which is once again a wonderful resource for us. And it sums up the thinking, the reaction, the polls, the attitudes of more than 5,500 Michiganders involved in more than 160 conversations on what are their top concerns for this upcoming election? What do they want policymakers to be thinking about? And the reason why this is important for us to look at is that while the first issue is one that's of no surprise, potholes, issues number two, three, and four are education, workforce, and poverty. Issues that philanthropies very concerned with, very involved with. So it's a great resource and it further confirms the role that philanthropy can play as a partner with government in addressing these important issues for all of Michigan. So take a look at those two resources, enjoy your summer, and we look forward to seeing you soon.